everybody on YouTube and welcome to the Country Cuz Hump Day Report. And all I got to say is, uh, I'm this is day four without electricity in my music room, except for using an extension cord and an extension cord for a light that's over here that's nearby just way too bright, blinding me, but it keeps me from being in the dark back here. I do got my blinds open. But anyway, uh, I'm going to do a demonstration. I, I changed what I was going to do. I'm not feeling well today. I went up there to Zaxby's and eat a Zaxby's salad. Me and my wife didn't. I don't know. They were, must have been soured or something. But we both ain't, we've had stomach aches and they felt good the whole day. So that wound me up eating a Zaxby's salad for a few years, I'm sure. Cause it's been about... Ten years ago, I got a raw hamburger at Wendy's, and we was actually eating inside. And I took it back up there and showed it to them, and they opened it up and looked at it and said, Oh, that's fine. I said, Well, no, the darn thing's raw on the inside. How about giving me another one or cooking this for some more? Well, we don't do that here. And I just laid it on the counter, and I went and got my wife's tray it and we put all of our food on the counter. I said, well here, y'all eat it. We'll be back. And that was 10 or 12 years ago and I ain't eat it a windy since. And you know, and I've had the same experience at one more place here in Cordial, but we won't even go there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to play. Oh, and at the end of this video, if y'all will stay to the end, I'm going to give you some important information about some scamming stuff that's going around. Bad stuff. They're stealing people's YouTube accounts and putting all kind of crazy videos on them, collecting revenue. I'm talking about loading up 100 or 200 videos a day. And they copyrighted videos, but they collect the revenue on them and then delete them and boom, your account's gone and there ain't nothing YouTube can do about it apparently because these folks are from overseas somewhere and I'll tell you how to avoid that and I'll tell you what the deal is. But anyway, somebody asked me about my canyon pedal, so I got out my left steel guitar tuned and opened me. I put the tuning right up there. Whoa, yeah, right there it is. I'm trying not to let it hit me in the head. Open E tuning.
thing that's got a reverb on it too. But anyway, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for stopping by the Country Cuss Show. And no, I did not forget to tell you about the scam deal. Uh, three friends of mine got hit. And believe it or not, I got a message from the same folks, but uh, I'll try to put a link down below to one of them that actually shows you, but what it is, they uh, targeting us people with music channels and anybody that's got, I guess, you know, a lot of viewers and a lot of followers on there, but what they're saying is, hey, we'll give you $500 to put one of our ads on your video, Here's a link to our website. Go over there and take a look at it, and then they'll send you a custom code. So you tap in this code and download this. There's the keyword download. Y'all be careful downloading anything out there. Cause downloading some is letting it come into your computer, and then they can kind of look around, take a screenshot of what's going on in the background and bam, they got you right then, and it don't take but like a millisecond. Just that quick, right there. But, you know, and what happened was some of the folks that had a lot of subscribers and a great channel built up, uh, it happened to them because they thought, like most people would, wow, who wouldn't love to make $500 today, and then they promising, you know, we'll give you $500 in a couple of weeks. And it looks legit, I forget the name of it, but anyway, they want you to go to their website and, you know, the best thing to do to start with, uh, they said that they Googled the website and couldn't find it on Google, so that's the first key. If you can't find it on Google and, you know, and if you ain't familiar with it, just don't mess with it. It's just like these people that's calling on the telephone trying to scam us, saying that our car warranty is expired or they fixing to charge our credit card. And, and when you get older like me, they'll call and say, your uh, Social Security and your Medicare or whatever you got is going to be canceled. But if you want to save it, we need to verify your credit card. Well, your credit card ain't got nothing to do with your Social Security at all, folks. So. Pay no attention when a robot call or some of them idiots that can't even speak good English call me. I just click the all button, hang up on them. And normally if they call in and it says this call's coming from California or New York or some city, well, you know what? Cities don't pick up the phone and say, oh, let's call Country Cuz today. And then to me's doing a great job. Now, hello, this is New York City calling. Nah. That don't have me to, that's crazy. Hang up, folks, hang up. Don't even give them the time of day. Don't even say hello or howdy or give them a handshake and a smile. But, you know, I just want to warn y'all that somebody's wanting to pay you to put an ad on your site, and YouTube does that automatically. Once you get over, I reckon, about a thousand subscribers or so, they'll place an ad on your website for you, just like this on mine, and you'll get paid for them, I promise you, but they don't call you up and ask or tell you how much they're going to pay you because they pay different. Some of them two or three cents, you know, some of them five, six dollars. Just depends on how much the, they can sell the ad for the spot, and it depends on how big your channel is and all. And I'll tell you, it takes a long time to build up that first thousand subscribers, and after that, it starts getting easier, but now the thing to build up a channel is, is, and I'll tell you this is the honest truth. You got to be honest. Be straightforward, with folks. If you got a product or you find a guitar that don't work good, just like this recording king, I got it on trade. Would I go out and buy one for the money? No. Them things are around about two hundred and something dollars. It's not got an adjustable bridge, so. I can't adjust the saddle up and down to set the string height to lay the bar across even. But the number two thing is I can't run it up and down this way to get the intonation on it. The intonation on this one did come in. It was fine. The strings, I had to do some filing on three of the strings to get them right. But now when you go filing in a slot, 
you better make sure you can get them strings from now on because you go changing string gauges, it's going to change because string gauges are fatter or narrow. And it's going to change the way the strings fit in the bridge, and then you're going to have to do some more filing. So, anyway, and I like an adjustable bridge on a black steel guitar. I like an adjustable bridge on all my guitars. Uh, my acoustic guitars don't have them, but I do don't have to worry about them being flat because they rounded anyway to match the contour of the fretboard. The lap still has to be flat. But as far as your intonation and all, I hope they're close. And sometimes I have had some that I'd have to turn the bridges around, maybe to file up or down to set the bridge forward or back. Now, that's a whole nother story. Stuart McDonald's got a good lesson on that but most acoustic guitars are carefully set up at the factory if you buy good quality. But people, if they want to pay you to put an ad on your website, and let me tell you what, I got an email and that's how I got in the advertisement business for TV. They called, even somebody emailed me said they wanted to give me a thousand dollars for one of my steel guitar tracks to play on one of their TV commercials. And I said, well, good, how are you going to pay me? And they said, well, we need your bank route number, and we'll transfer you $500, and then we'll send you a contract, and you'll sign it that you agree that you renting us the license to use your music for a year. And I thought, first thing, boy, that might be a scam right there. So. I, I, I got to thinking, I said, well, how can I outsmart these cameras in case it's legit? So I emailed them back and I said, hey, I'll be back with you in about 30 minutes, but I got to go check on my bank account routing number. <clears throat> and I run down to my local bank, we a small town here, so it didn't take me far, about 12 miles uptown to go to the bank. I went in that bank, I said, I need to open up a brand new checking account. And I said, I want to open it up under the name of Country Cuz Music, period. And I said, it ain't attached to none other account. And she said, well, can you make a deposit? I said, yes, ma'am. And I pulled out a dollar. I said, here, I'll deposit a dollar in it. She said, that'll work. And I opened it up and I said, now I need a checking account number, a route number, and a credit card number. Well, she said, wow, give me about 20 minutes. So she typed up something and went to the back office and come back and give me a credit card. It says, country cousin music on it. With the number, give me my route number. I come back home. I had a whole dollar in that account. I emailed that later. I said, and people that had emailed me, I emailed it and I said, here's my route number, my credit card number and all that. Now, when I see the money transferred, I'll email y'all the file to that song. And it was just an instrumental with steel guitar on it. It's one I got on there somewhere on here. It's called On the Island. Anyway, so I did and bam, I bet in five minutes later, I looked and bam, there's $500 right there in that account. And I'm like, wow. And then I got an email back and she said, did you get the money? And then I emailed, yes. She said, I'm sending a contract. She sent me a contract and it's about four pages long from a company I never heard of, but they was out in Washington State. And I don't know many people out there, but they done advertisement for some of the big name brand people. And that was who one of mine was on. And I'm, February the 15th, my contract's either going to run out or it's going to be good. I just got a $700 check in the mail from them yesterday, so I don't know if we still, but anyway, the push come shove, they was a couple of questions on there that I didn't understand, and I emailed them, whoever it was I was dealing with, I, and I put my phone number, I said, I don't understand so-and-so, can you call me? Boom, a lady called me, and she said, I'm a song production manager for this company and she said we need some steel guitar tracks on some of our commercials and I was going through YouTube and found you and I said she said you talked and act honest enough and she said 
and we liked you and I presented it and they accepted it. And I said, well, great. And so anyway, a month went by and boom, they sent me 500 more dollars. And then they paid me like $200 a month to rent the song. And as far as I know, she got, I had to sign another contract about halfway last year that stated they could play the music in Canada and England. So I guess that same track's being used on a, their commercial in Canada, England, and the United States. So hey, if you're over in England and Canada. But anyway, it wasn't a scam, but I, like I said, I went and opened up a banking account with nothing in my bank but one dollar. I figured if they took me for a dollar, that'd be a dollar less than I bought. But it turned out legit. If I had not done that, I would have been missed that opportunity. So if you're thinking about uh, being approached by some Yahoo, but whatever you do, don't download the stuff because this company didn't ask me to download nothing. Matter of fact, uh, all I did was email me the contract and I printed it out in a PDF file and then I printed it out on my printer. I signed it and I scanned it back in. Once you scan it, goes into your scans. You can send it back to them as an email. And that's the way we done business and done business from now on. But as far as downloading anything, no. Now, I did send them a WAV file of the song to you. And they didn't use the whole song. They didn't need but like 30 or 40 seconds of the song. One of the little ending part. But anyway, that's the way it is. So let's all be careful out there because it seems like these scammers are getting wiser and smarter than some of these big channels. And I do mean big ones that I know have failed for this and then their channel stole. Somebody else takes control and drives it for a few weeks, runs it in the ground, collects any revenue that it's made, and boom, they close it and YouTube can't help you. You got to start a brand spanking new channel. I feel, I feel very sorry for the people because to me, that's just like somebody coming inside your house and stealing from you while you're asleep. They ain't no different. Same thing. You got a YouTube channel and they steal it. Same thing if they broke in your house and stole your guitar. You know? The only thing is if they break in your house, maybe you can tackle them or hit them upside the head with your ball bat or shoot them or whatever on the internet. Once it's gone, it's gone, and you ain't got a clue where it went, and it ain't traceable. Anyway, this is Country Cuz. I hate to rant on. I'm not feeling well today, because next time um, I got to make a trip to Macon, Georgia tomorrow, and I hope I'm feeling up to it. We're supposed to have severe thunderstorms and rain all day tomorrow and Thursday, so while on that, I don't look forward to it. I still have to make the trip to drive. I got to take a friend of mine, or actually my mother, all the way up to Macon to the doctor for a checkup. So I hope each and every one of y'all have a blessed week out there. And if you're not a subscriber to the Country Cuz channel, we all about music here, lap steel, guitar, dobro, banjo, and writing music. And if you look around on my channel, you'll probably find lessons. Go up there and click the thumbs up. And I thank each and every one of y'all, and I'll see you uh, Sunday for the Sunday Report, and I hope I can do a video about the difference between the humbugger pickup, this is the P90, and the uh, single coil pickup sounds in lap steel guitar. So y'all stay tuned for that. Thank you.